Welcome to this week's video. In this week's video, we're going to be talking about the long, massive delays that are hitting the EV market, in particular the Renault Zoe. So if you've come to the end of a PCP or you're looking at an electric car at the moment, you probably notice that the majority of them have got huge delays on new orders. Obviously, if you're buying second hand, it obviously doesn't matter to you. But if you're looking at a new Zoe or um, other new electric vehicles, there is quite long delays. Now, I can't comment for the delays on the other manufacturers, but I can comment on some of the delays for the uh, Renault Zoe. And one of the main, main things that's been causing massive delays for the Renault is the fact that the post office in France made a huge, huge order uh, for the Renault Zoe for their new post uh, delivering van and this order was so huge France, are French, France and Renault are they're extremely patriotic and being patriotic the French post office got put straight to the front of the queue so their massive order took priority over everyone else's and obviously they, they were streamlined and sort of they didn't want to let all the customers down but it did cause massive delays people would be told the car would come later and I think as I speak today the waiting list if you order is about six months so it's a very very long time to wait for a car or a new car if you're used to sort of obviously waiting the, the, the lot sh much smaller sort of time frame for ordering a European car so it, it, they are very very long time frames now if you've got a PCP at the moment uh, on a Renault, uh, Renault Zoe, and you're looking at getting a new one, you think, well, hold on a second, I might order it, and my PCP might run out, my uh, my you know my loan my loan car might run out, and then I've not got my car because it's not arrived. Now, this at the time of me filming this, it is correct, but it is subject to change and check before doing it. But RCI have been extending Renault Zoe leases if you've ordered a new Renault Zoe from a Renault approved garage and you can provide them with the order number. Now it might be worth checking just before you, checking with a the garage when you were making the order that you want to ring RCI at the same time as making the order and that way you know you've definitely got it before you've committed fully. Now there's a few things you have to do you have to one provide your order number uh, and two order from an approved Renault dealer and also obviously have a have a have all your payments up to date etc but in some circumstances they will extend the PCP for the same monthly payment that you're paying now until your new Renault Zoe order arrives which is great news if you are on one of these massive delays obviously if you do not order a Renault Zoe you do not qualify if you're going to go from a Renault to a, a Leaf, you can't you can't extend your Renault Zoe contract, so you can keep the car. But if you are currently a, a Renault Zoe owner, you can extend your lease, which is great news. Now, there's other reasons uh, for the master delays, not just the post office. The Renault Zoe has become extremely popular uh, all over Europe, and another one is a car sharing scheme, um, which I, f I can't remember the name. Uh, but there's a car sharing scheme, I think it's in partnership with Renault, and, and that car sharing scheme, they also took a massive order. So these these massive orders, and I think that they also have trouble trying to keep up with supply of batteries. And I think the main obstacle now, which is slowing down uh, EV sales, and, and, and in particular the Renault Zoe sales, is the, the, the time frame it takes to order one and get one, get one to people. I mean... Tesla have always had this kind of issue as well, but to be fair on Tesla, they are a new car company. Uh, Tesla aren't made to make mass production at the same speed that Renault uh, are used to using mass production. Now, when Tesla, as Tesla start to progress, the numbers will start getting down and obviously the time frame of orders will start getting down. But Renault have got no excuse. They are, they are a major car manufacturer who've been making cars for years and years and years they've got no excuse for these delays and they, they need to start of they need to a produce more right and drive cars they're producing loads of left there, there seems to be a reason what they're stalling on the right and drives the only reason I can think that they aren't making as many right and drives is in this country second hand Zoe's have a very 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 low residual price 
compared to the rest of Europe and I think they're trying to increase the price of the used cars and also I reckon they're going to start stripping away all dealer incentives to buy a new Renault Zoe and by doing that they are making the waiting list seem as if it's longer than it should be to create some sort of false popularity bubble. I mean they are a popular car but they're trying to increase the price market so they don't have to give these massive dealer discounts that they've been giving away. They've been giving away huge discounts on the cars from the, compared to what the retail price should be and what people are actually getting them for and they're going to start stripping away some of these incentives. Dealer incentives are going to start dropping away so if you are, haven't got one yet and you are thinking of one, a new one, I'd start putting my order through as quick as possible because we've already seen these some of these incentives being stripped back slowly and I think it's just eventually going to get more stripped back and more stripped back and more stripped back. Obviously the government will carry on supporting it because they have to meet the um, some targets for obviously uh, various things but so the government uh, incentives will always carry on for current foreseeable future but expect dealer contributions to start disappearing. I mean we I think only this week Nissan have announced that they will they will offer some contributions towards the Nissan Leaf. At first there was talk of no discounts on the Nissan Leaf and obviously as uh, no orders came in for such a high residual price. I mean they think they think the price for the new Leaf was almost not far off what the Model 3 was, which seems ridiculous when uh, you think that even though the Tesla probably won't be as well built because Nissan are a big manufacturer, um, you'd think that you think that Renault and Nissan would try and compete a bit better than what they have. I mean, the Tesla is everyone's dream car. The Model Three looks like the S. It's absolutely stunning. It is a beautiful car. So. Nissan now have realised that the order uptake for the new Leaf wasn't this high, and some incentives and PCP deals, uh, de you know, decent sort of affordable deals, have started appearing this week, which is good. Well, as you noticed, I'm uh, spotting this fashionable T-shirt this week. Thank you very much to Spark and Vault for sending this over to me. I really, really like it. They've got some really nice designs. If you wanted to get a T-shirt just like it, check out the description down below. There's a link to their website. All the t-shirts are 100% recyclable and they're EV drivers themselves, which is a bonus in our books. And again, as usual, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much.